Hello everyone and welcome to another Pyro Gaming video. Since the release of Rise of Iron, I don't know about you guys, but I go through quite a bit of glimmer. Uh, with all the weapon parts and armor materials that I have to buy from the gunsmith, as well as all of the exotic shards that I have been buying from the exotic kiosks at 2500 glimmer a pop, I can easily burn through maxed out glimmer in absolutely no time, and then within a few hours need more of it and not have it. So. That being said, what are the best ways to get Glimmer in Rise of Iron? Now, there's quite a few different methods that you can use. We're going to touch on a few of them, and then I'm going to tell you the absolute best way to get Glimmer towards the end of, it, end of the video. So getting started, let's go ahead and talk about an old one that a lot of people still like to use, and that is to go and farm the Exclusion Zone on Mars. Now, for this to work, you're going to need to pop a resupply code or have a ghost that gives you Glimmer from Cabal Enemies. You want to select... Exclusion Zone, come down here and change it to Heroic, and you will have eight Cabal Majors dropped from a dropship. You just go kill them, let the rest of the enemies kill you, and come back and do the same thing over and over and over, lather, rinse, repeat. Another one that a lot of people still try to use, and this one is definitely broken, is spawning into the Cosmodrome and immediately going to your left into the little shack that goes underground. There are three Hive Knights that spawn down there, but Bungie nerfed those a while back, and they no longer spawn consistently. So trying to kill these guys over and over is not a good method for farming Glimmer. Now another one that you can do if you're in a pinch, and let's say that you need 2500 Glimmer as quickly as you can get it, then what I would recommend is head to Patrol the Plague Lands and go find yourself a few Quarantine Patrols, because they will give you 1000 Glimmer per completion. Now on that subject... If we go over here and look at this right here, uh, the weekly patrol bounty that you or weekly patrol quest that you can get from Shiro 4 over in the Iron Temple requires you to complete three quarantine patrols, which, like I said, give you 1,000 glimmer per completion, as well as three assassination patrols, which give you 500 per completion, as well as five kill patrols, which is I call them kill shit patrols. And uh, each one of those gives you, I believe, 250 or 300, I can't remember exactly. And then after you do all of those, you have to go and complete an additional, just four patrols anywhere, doesn't matter what they are. For those, I would recommend doing quarantine, and this is easily 10,000 Glimmer in 45 minutes, just completing this one quest. So that is definitely worth it. In addition to that, you're also going to get 1,000 rep towards Vanguard, 500 rep towards your faction. So if you rank one of those up, each faction package that you open will also give you 500 Glimmer. And, I mean, before you know it, you're just, you're ranking up. You're, or you're racking up Glimmer. So another really good method, all right? And this is by far the best method that you can do, okay? As it stands right now, this is a fallen game, all right? With Taken King, it was taken. With... Rise of Iron, it is all about Fallen. There's Fallen everywhere. We're spending a lot of times in the Plague Lands, doing the raid, doing strikes. There's Fallen all over the damn place. So all you really need to do, guys, is pop on a Fallen Ghost Shell, or a Ghost Shell that gives you Glimmer from killing Fallen, and you're going to you're gonna get so much Glimmer that you're not going to realize that it's maxed out. You're going to have to go buy stuff just so that you can have more room to get more Glimmer. Now, the ghost shell that you see right now is the Dread Explorer shell. You got this guaranteed from completing the Taken King main storyline that culminated in Regicide and then going and doing the Plague Lands Patrol. Um, I forget what it's called, but the mission where you go and, you know, deploy the patrol beacons and all that stuff. Once you finish that quest you are guaranteed to get this exact Dread Explorer shell that comes with Ether Seeds, Spin Metal Extractor, and Intellect Discipline. This ghost shell is absolutely fucking perfect for Rise of Iron because this is everything that you need. We're spending a lot of time killing Fallen, so we have the Ether Seeds covered. We're spending a lot of time on Earth, so every engram that we pick up is giving us Spin Metal that we can then go and trade for Faction Rep when one of the vendors is accepting it. And you can never go wrong with Intellect Discipline. And as you can see... Intellect 35, that's as high as a ghost shell gets. So, like I said, this is an absolute perfect ghost shell if you or if you completed the Taken King stuff. If you have this, this is the one that you should be using without question. Now, it is worth having one of each. You can see here that I have a Fallen one, a Taken one, another Taken one from the raid. We have Vex. I don't know what these are. I just got these from Festival of the Lost. There's my Cabal one. And is this a Hive? This is another Taken, so I'll probably end up deleting one of these. And uh, 
on each of my characters, I try to keep one of each of the, um, you know, race specific glimmer things. I don't know what they're called, <laughs> but, uh, I don't have a hive one on this one. I deleted it and actually infused it into my, uh, iron song shell. But yeah, guys, if you are able to do that, if you're able to keep that dread explorer shell at all, or on at all times, then you're going to be perfectly fine with glimmer, man. You absolutely are. Another thing that you can do is if you head to the reef, uh, go over and talk to Varix each week on Reset. Once you reach House of Judgment rank 3, then every Tuesday at Reset, Varix will have a Judgment's Tribute or Judgment's Grant package. I forget what it's called. But uh, he'll give you one of those packages, and each one of those packages has a thousand glimmers. So if you have three characters, then you can get 3,000 glimmer a week for nothing. In addition to that, Crota's Bane... If you go do her weekly bounty every week, which it's totally worth it now because she drops artifacts and class items up to 390. So you should absolutely be doing this. But completing her bounty will give you 250 glimmer for step one, 500 glimmer for step two, and 750 glimmer for step three for a total of, uh, what is that, 1500 glimmer just for completing that bounty. And you're working towards multiple things. Now, let's talk about the absolute best way to farm glimmer. Now, I already said that putting on the Dread Explorer shell, or any ghost shell that has ether seeds as this perk right here. If you have one of these on, and you go do Archon's Forge, you get so much glimmer, because there are so many fallen majors in Archon's Forge, and just so many enemies, and because it's a group activity, you're getting glimmer for all of them that everybody's killing in that area, not just what you or somebody directly in your fire team is. If there's a random in Archon's Forge, you're going to get glimmer when he kills somebody because you're in the same activity. You're match made together. So if you just really, really, really need glimmer, pop on a ghost shell, or if you don't have one of the ghost shells that has fallen, you can always just pop an ether seed. These last for uh, 10 minutes. But uh, you'll get these pretty quickly over in Archon's Forge. I get a ton of them. I usually go trade them for uh, heavy ammo sense with Varix. But just go do some Archon's Forge, man. Like, there's so many majors over there. There's so many, you know, fallen enemies. You're going to get an absolute ton of Glimmer. But anyway, guys, that's going to bring this video to an end. Hopefully, it helps you out. I know that the Glimmer question is one that you guys have been asking me quite a bit lately. So hopefully, this helps you get the Glimmer that you need. Honestly, you don't need to go farm anything. Just... Like I said, put on that Fallen Aether Seed Ghost and just go play the game. You know, go do your normal stuff. Go do the Plague Lands, go do the Raid, Strikes, whatever. But anyway, that's going to bring this video to an end, guys. If you enjoyed it, click like. If you're new to the channel, click subscribe. And if you're already subscribed, I fucking love you. Thank you for watching. Take care, guys.